Let's get right into it, guys. We're going to bring James on with Mission First Tactical. Talk about some really cool Day and these guys were our exclusive 556 uh, magazine, magazine provider. And that, and that was really, was really cool because, because we were able to use their magazines and everything out there. there. So, so um, that's, that's one, one of the things, things that I want to make sure that we talk about. about. I guess I first, first, James, is let's talk about, talk about the, the different type of magazine that you have. This is, this is um, I don't, I don't, don't want to give the name of it wrong, wrong but this, this is a different magazine than what some of the people might have been used to from Mission First Tactical, right? Yeah, this has been out for about three years now. This is our Extreme Beauty magazine. It's made with a long chain polymer, uh, making it to be the strongest bag on the market. On the bottom, we got drain holes in case it gets submerged. We got stippling on the outside of the mag if you're carrying it in a belt holster. On the bottom, uh, so you can pull it out of mag pouches. It's a non-stick follower and a yeah, uh, lifetime warranty. So a lot of what we do with them is you know, we notice that nice flat surface on there. And we did that logo for you guys. Uh, but we print all kinds of designs on these things. Uh, it really helps you customize the mags, give a nice custom look to your rifle, uh, you know, keep track of your mags when you're at the range. Yeah, and I, that's one thing that was really cool. Uh, if you guys can see that really well, um, it's the Mission First Tactical logo that they were able to put on there. That's what James was referring to, that they can do customization if you guys need it. Whether you're a retail shop or an organization that wants your logo on there, you can get with Mission First Tactical and work with them on getting that put on there. Uh, most of the magazines, if you get them without it, they're going to be like that. That's how you're going to see them. Um, I tell you, James, one of the things that I noticed about this magazine is a little bit different than your last one and definitely different than some of your other ones. Is It looks like you guys focused on some contact points on here for e easier and probably more positive extraction from a plate carrier or from a, any kind of a, a holster that might be holding these magazines. I notice on the backside ridge and on the front of the ridge, as well as these finger grooves, I call them finger grooves. I don't know if that's just what they're intended for, but your fingers sure fall right on top of it. Those make, to me, a more positive extraction. And probably the one thing I talked about yesterday on range day is this much bigger lip on the bottom side of it. You know, obviously, from a plate carrier standpoint, your plate carriers are gripping those magazines pretty tight. To me, that gives you way more positive extraction whenever you're trying to remove one of these magazines, especially from a plate carrier. Exactly. Yeah, and we have the dot matrix uh, bubbles uh, down there where your thumb would go. It really gives you some positive, uh, positive grip on there. Now, explain that to me a little bit. I I've read a little bit about that. Um, so is that... I mean, obviously, you're getting your positive grip on that, but is that also intended to identify your magazines, too? Is that what that's for? Exactly. Uh, you know, if you're not printing on them, you can just use a little bit of whiteout or a marker on there and, you know, put your own code on there, let you know, you know which mags, which ammo you have loaded in there. And you can, you know, spot them when you're at competitions uh, at the range, things like that. Now, is there an option for uh, different color or different types of followers um, or excuse me, followers? or base plates that you can do to identify your, your ammo or what, whatever you have in the mag? Uh, not currently. Something we have in, uh, okay. in development. We have those going for the for Gen 1 mags, but haven't put them out yet for the okay. Extreme Duty mags. I got you. Now, the follower itself, obviously, we're talking about your standard anti-tilt follower. It seems like everybody's putting a pretty good follower in their magazines these days. Is that a USGI uh, spring, I assume, too, inside the magazine? That's correct. Okay, cool. Uh, with, I mean, obviously, as you guys can expect, they they ran flawlessly. We're going to run some uh, stress tests on these things in the coming weeks um, because, I mean, I do have some of your older magazines, and what we want to do is, I mean, obviously go to the extreme farther, much farther beyond than what these things are intended to. And I know everybody's done their share of them, but, I mean, we have it on our channel, so we do want to do our stress tests on sure. these just to show people because you know how it is. Anytime somebody puts out a new magazine, Everybody's got their favorite magazine that they like, and everything else is junk to them besides their favorite right. magazine. So we just want to show some real-life stuff out there so people can learn to appreciate different magazines because that's another thing i got to say. You guys have a very, I think, a comfortable-to-the-pocketbook uh, price point on these, and that's one thing that I would like to introduce people to and make sure they realize you don't have to spend a fortune on magazines to get a quality magazine. You guys have been in the business long enough that when I was encouraged when you upgraded your magazine strength, you knew what you were doing because you obviously had seen some areas that you wanted to strengthen. And I think you guys did a great job doing that. 
Thank you. Yeah, the long chain polymer really adds to the durability. I want to talk about a couple of the other things that you guys have that I, I know a lot of people may not realize, and I'm trying to look around in here because you guys actually make my favorite uh, stock, and I don't know where. I think it's right over here. I, I, the minimal uh, stock. Can we is my flip my camera stock. around? I got one. I got one Absolutely. right here. Absolutely. All right. Yep. Do I do that on my end, or do you guys do that over there? I don't seem to have that button. I think you. Uh, if you look, there should be like a little cog, a little wheel on your screen. Press that, and it'll give you the option to flip your camera around. Like a little settings wheel. Yeah. Camera two facing front. Uh, facing back. There we go. All right. So yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh, all right. So there's the minimalist stock. Uh, one of the one lightest, lightest stocks on the market. On the market. Just uh, uh, 6.3 ounces. <clears throat> Has the QD <throat> mount on the bottom. Uh, uh, attachment points for your links and. We have a GPS uh, mount available for the stock as well. When you say GPS mount, describe that. I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. So we have a, a mount that straps over here and then holds a Garmin GPS right here so that you can uh, have the navigation mounted right on the stock there. Oh, nice, nice. So I see a whole lot of other stuff that you have in there in your picture that we're probably going to talk about. Talk a little bit more about some of the things I think you got. Is that one of your dump trays down there? Yeah, so uh, this is our new generation of dump trays. Have I think we're up to about 30 different designs right now, plus we can custom design one for you, uh, you know, for your shop or your organization. Uh, got the American flag here, blue line. Got our Liberty or Death camo in the back there. We've done trays for uh, the Virginia Citizens Defense League, uh, lots of different shows out there. And uh, yeah, it just, it's really a great way to, you know, at the end of the day, your phone goes down on the side, your gun, your knives go down over here uh, and keeps you organized and very nice to look at. Definitely. And it's obviously made out of the same high density stuff. It looks like that your magazines are made out of. Uh, yep, exactly. Yep, uh, it's, uh, it's all Walter on and very durable. Now, I noticed you, uh, is that some holsters you have over there to the right? Yeah, so we have three holster styles. We have our minimalist holster, which gives you full holster functionality with the smallest profile possible. We got the claw here to push the grip into your stomach so you don't print. Uh, and ambidextrous without the claw. But you can wear it appendix, you could wear it three o'clock, six o'clock. And we have that for, I think, up to 24 different gun fits right now. Uh, most popular one right now is the 365, but we have it for the Hellcat, the Shields, uh, Glock 19s. Uh, we have our OWB holster, and that's the SIG 320 in there. Uh, it's convertible to IWB with belt clips. Uh, they're all passive retention, made with Baltaron and come with a lifetime warranty. Then we have our inside the waistband holster here. And as you can see, we can decorate these as well, but uh, passive audio retention, convertible to a paddle holster. And lifetime warranty, great holster. Yeah, that, that inside waistband, I actually have the one that has the don't, uh, excuse me, don't tread on me, uh, painted onto the side of it. Yeah, from a, a 43X that I carry. And uh, that's probably one of my favorite holsters because it, it does, to me, it, it does two things. It carries the, the firearm real close and has real positive retention whenever the gun clicks into it. But I also like the paddle that you guys, uh, or the clip, I should say, that you guys put on there. Um, some of the clips that are out there, in my opinion, are too small. They don't have enough real estate on them to get under your belt, so they rock forwards or backwards. And you guys have a big enough paddle. I don't know if you can see it, or excuse me, a clip on there. I don't know how well you can see it. There you go. That's a perfect shot of it right there. That's a wide, I like that clip. That clip to me is not only wide enough, but turn it again to the profile like you had it just a second ago. 
one thing that's important too, I think, is see how big that clip is. A lot of those clips are not made big enough. And if you put a thick utility style belt on there, sometimes it doesn't grip the whole thing. Or if you put too thin of a belt, sometimes it's not gonna actually go over that thing properly and it's it's just harder to maneuver with it. To me, you, you guys putting that big enough lip underneath that clip gives me a lot more positive retention because I use uh, a carry uh, belt whenever I uh, carry. So it is a thicker belt and some of the holsters out there, you just have that. And I, honestly, I've never had one slip off uh, other holster manufacturers, but you have that thing in the back of your mind that, man, my holster doesn't feel like it's fit on my belt good because it's not all the way around that thicker carry belt. And you guys have a much better clip and uh, that lips on the under underside of it. I really, I'm a big fan of that. That's probably the biggest thing. And that may not be a big selling point for you guys, but to me it is as an end user. Yeah, that's, uh, we put a lot of thought into that, that curve underneath, at the bottom, that goes underneath and grabs your belt. So even if there is not uh, not enough tension there, you'll have that clip to grab the belt and keep it from coming up with the with the firearm. That's right. Now, the, I see you got some wallets right there, too. Let's talk about those a little bit. Sure, sure. Ultron wallets, they are eight card. Uh, they're not RFID uh, blocking. And we have, uh, I think, about 24 different designs on the wallet. So I got some more back here. So we have, you know, always popular, the Don't Tread on Me. Uh, we have a few different versions of the Distressed Flag. Uh, this was our most popular patch and sticker for a few years running, <laughs> but now we have a Freedom Fries version of the of the wallet and, you know, the ever-popular Punisher Skulls. Uh, you can get those on the mags, the dump trays, wallets. And, uh, and even the drinkware, we have uh, the drinkware out there with some Punisher logos on there. Yeah, I see those tumblers there. Um, I've actually got one of the smoke tumblers right there, and I love that thing. It's it's whether hot or cold, which, whatever you're looking to put in it, that's definitely a nice way to keep whatever you've got in your vehicle without you know spilling it all over the place. It's got a nice little lid that falls down on the front of it that closes it up nice and tight. That's pretty cool. I, I was impressed with the tumbler uh, quite a bit whenever I got it in. Real good quality there. Thank you. Yeah, you know, and I went to stores all over the country a few years ago, and, you know, we, we had a picture of this in our catalog for years before we produced it, and people would get to the back, and they would be like, when can I get that? And, you know, finally, finally this year, they're <laughs> ready, and they're on the website, and as hard as everything is to get right now, you can go online, you could order the Riot or the Red Smoke, and they'll ship the same day. Uh, so, uh, you know, get on there, grab That's those. That's impressive. Uh, yeah, very cool. So uh, what's the website, uh, James, that everybody can go to? It's missionfirsttactical.com. And you'll find links okay. on there for our holsters, for our AR accessories, for the drinkware, all the decorated stuff. And, you know, we talk about stores ordering custom mags, but individuals, there's a link on there. You know, it's just a picture of your image here. There's, you know, a picture you want to print on there. Uh, you know, we can do actual photographs like we did for the combat Barbie there. Uh, you know, any hmm. anything that you have the copyright to, if you want to print it on a mag, send it over to us and we can do it, you know, one mag, 10 mags, 20 mags, however many you like. Very cool. Now, does that go for um, things outside of your mags too? A lot of the other things that you guys have decorated? Yeah, we, uh, we don't have the links up there on the website yet. So you just have to, you know, shoot an email over to info at missionfirsttactical.com and I'll get you in contact with the art team and we'll get, uh, you know, we'll get some stuff printed up for you. Very cool. Just out of curiosity, what's your guys' thoughts on there not being a SHOT Show this year? How do, you, how do you guys feel about that? I miss it. I mean, I love going out there, you know, and, you know, when you're working, you don't get to see too much, but you get to talk to all the people and, you know, get real live feedback on what's, uh, you know, what people think of the new products and what they're excited about. So it's, I miss it. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to, 2022 shot show and and hopefully over yeah. the summer we'll have some more of the shows too well i mean that's how i met you guys um uh, dave and uh ben i i wouldn't we wouldn't be having this conversation had i not met them at shot show one year so i mean it's you get a lot of business done and you make a lot of relationships or build a lot of relationships and it's just a shame to have that that piece of it taken away uh, hopefully like you said we can get some things back going again uh I know that in, I believe NRA is planning on doing their thing this year, uh, later, uh, be nice if everybody would kind of get back into it. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been on a plane in over a year now. I'm 
looking forward to getting back on one. So <laughs> shot show was the last time I was on an airplane, to be honest with you. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And uh, it all shut down real fast. And I remember, I remember being at shot show and everyone thought COVID was a joke and it wasn't coming. And, you know, we're all laughing about it. And then, you know, by the time March came around, NRA was canceled and then, yeah, no one's left a, no one's left a building since. Funny you say that because I was thinking the exact same thing the other day. The first time I heard of, and actually it wasn't uh, COVID, they were calling it coronavirus. And I remember seeing a meme with Corona beer. And I'd heard coronavirus a couple of times before that, like in the news, but didn't pay any attention to it. And when I saw the meme, right. I was like, what the heck is this coronavirus thing everybody's talking about? And you're right, man. It was like a freaking California wildfire. <laughs> By the end of SHOT Show, everybody was talking about it. And I was like, oh, man. And well, I felt lucky to get back home because it's, it seemed like the door started closing behind you awfully quick. Right. Yes. Yeah. And, and, you know, something brought up too. you, know, uh, you know, all the memes and everything joking about the virus coming over from China, but all of our products are made right here in the USA. So, you know, that nice. helps with, you know, supply chain, but they're all made in the USA. They're all handmade by veterans. And, uh, you know, so, and you guys are out of Pennsylvania, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yep, we're just about a half hour outside of Philadelphia. Okay. So. okay, very nice. Well, James, anything else you want to uh, uh, bring to us or mention to us about any of the Mission First Tactical products? Uh, well, you know, while we're talking, I, we have this drop-in, you know, that a lot of people are buying the, you know, the budget ARs right now. It's probably the only thing you can get your hands on. But we have this drop-in M-Lock rail. That's a very nice price point, $39.99. You know, just replaces the standard glacier rail, and you know, we always have our enhanced trigger guards, uh, mag releases, grips, all available on missionfirsttactical.com. And yeah, uh, reach out, let us know what you think. We're always looking for feedback, and uh, you know, everything's covered on a lo under a lifetime warranty, so you, know, you can you can buy with confidence. Okay, so that handguard, um, it's it's on your website now. Yes, yep, it's on our website now. Okay, it's, uh, been really good seller for us for quite a few well, years we'll, now. We'll make a uh, screen grab of that handguard, pull it off the website with the link, and uh, we'll post that um, on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and we'll get in case anybody's interested because that's a, that's a good looking little handguard right there. And you're right, I mean that's pretty much all. You're, you're, if you're not building your own stuff right now, I don't know where you're getting your AR-15 from because they're certainly not plentiful right now. Right. right. Well, James, I appreciate you taking the time. I know uh, it's, you know, it's a busy time for everybody right now. Uh, luckily, we have a little bit of a lull right now because this is the week we all plan to be at SHOT Show. So we kind of had our week opened up, although I think everybody's filling it back up. Uh, but I do appreciate yeah. you guys taking the time to uh, spend with us. And... Uh, you know, you guys can always reach out to us if there's anything we can do to help you out. Uh, again, I'm a big fan of your products. Um, and I just realized that my Wyndham Weaponry AR-15 with the minimalist stock on it is downstairs because we actually shot it on a range yesterday to uh, demo some of your magazines. Um, and that's another thing that I was, I, you know, just so you guys know, your partners that you work with in the industry, Wyndham Weaponry is where I first saw the minimalist stock. They actually, I bought one of their guns that had uh, one on there. And then after that, probably three, four years ago, they started making a small line of custom Legally Armed America AR-15s for us. And we actually had them put the minimalist stock on there because we liked it so much. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah definitely our favorite. Well, James, we're going to bug out of here. Uh, we're going to move on to our next guest. I, again, I sincerely appreciate you guys hanging out with us. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely get these videos chopped back up and sent back out to you guys so you can post them on your website later on if you like. And uh, again, thank you for your time, James, and uh, all the best to Mission First Tactical. And we'll, we'll put some links up to push some people and steer them to your products. Thank you. Thank you for having us.